What's up guys, Matacaster here, and today we're checking out a new game, a brand new game actually, called My Gaming Club, and it's uh, definitely, in de it's, it's early, it's in development build right now, but it looks like it could have some potential, so basically I guess what we're going to set up is kind of like a, uh, well I guess it's all in the name, a gaming club of some sort. Um, definitely intrigued me, because I tend to like these kind of, oh my, you, that guy actually scared me pretty, <laughs> uh, I tend to like these kind of games that are just kind of quirky like this, uh, I figured, for sure, let's give this one a try. So, basically I did a little bit of a tutorial, just shows you how to kind of move and place things, that whole mechanics of that is, uh, it's kind of weird and it's not polished yet, and it's a little bit to get used to, so we're just going to move this desk and kind of... I guess set up, we could set up anywhere we want, I suppose. I'll just set up over here. So walk up, grab the desk. If I can remember how to do it. Yep. Take it. Then we're just going to move it over here and we have to switch mode to be able to, there we go. Place it right up against the wall. There we go. Remember the better equipped your table, the higher rate can be at the higher rate can be, but do not forget that customers will also expect the appropriate hardware, cool desk, equals powerful computer interesting okay sounds good to me let's go ahead and get oh actually i think the yep the table is backwards because i think yeah that has to face this way so let me fix that there we go and the music in this i, I didn't add that it's actually pretty chill it's kind of nice relaxing all right let's get the monitor set here rotate that around place our keyboard and mouse here I, I turned the music off even though it was nice it was chill uh, i realized it's gonna really be odd in editing when i go to edit everything together it's just gonna be jumping in and out and sounding very odd so figure turn it off but it is nice it's a chill enjoyable type of music where do we want to put the tower maybe off to will it go maybe over here that's backwards there we go and then we can grab our stool here and place it. Perfect. It's not pretty, but it works. Looks like we're missing. Oh, it wants the PC under the desk. I get it. That's fine. It makes more sense anyways, I suppose. We'll drive everybody nuts and throw it on that side. All right. So it looks like it said that uh, there are headphones. We don't. I don't see any. I'm guessing that's something we're going to go out and get. Uh, I don't know what you got. Oh, those guys are... Wearing the same clothes, embarrassing, huh? Don't know why they keep coming around. I got nothing for them over here. Not yet, at least. We gotta get this vending machine set up. Every time it clips into the wall, it spins back around again. Set up. There it goes again. Get it set up. Finally, there we go. Set it up in the corner there, and I don't know what we want to do with this. Set it off to the side. There we go. We don't need that right now. I believe, at least I believe we don't. Do I need to power on the computer? Uh, yes, turn it on. You have to get it in just the right spot. And our computer is up and going. We can use it. Remember, each multiplayer game on Steam must be on a separate account. Otherwise, customers will not be able to play them. Good to know. So it looks like we've got Steam on here. Hey, bud. Just a second. Just give me a little bit here. I'm trying to... Okay. Well, he's just going to do that. That oh, No, he's taking off. All right, let's get this thing figured out. Okay, here we are on the desktop. My computer... So it looks like we actually have hard drive space is a thing. Devices, personalization. Does it go into detail? Like what kind of processor we have? So it looks like, yeah, it's not going to be an NVIDIA GT320. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of a bare bones little setup here. So it'd be cool to start, um, you know, upgrading and stuff in the tutorial i actually built a pc you can build pcs on here and it seems like it's really in depth and in here we can download steam and install right here this is really cool now it shows up on our uh on our desktop there very nice what else is in the app store that we might want antivirus let's go ahead and let's let's just add some of that stuff you never know what these people are going to be doing on this computer and an f cleaner we'll go ahead oh uh, we don't have any money how do we get that's a good question how do we get money in this game it didn't the tutorial doesn't tell you much it just kind of shows you the mechanics can we go into the browser no we can't right now can we go into steam we can and there are actual grand auto for car cry 5 this is amazing need for sped 
Ah, oh, this is awesome. So it looks like we're going to have to buy these games and be able to install them. How much, how do I find it? I think it's one of, I think we got to exit out of this to find out how much money we have. Oh, it looks like somehow money has shown up here. So we got some money there and there's the wallet. Okay. So we got phone, wallet, and a credit card. Very cool. So we can turn on our computer, turn, take our, turn our phone off there. We can turn on our computer and I guess let people do what they need to do and then uh, collect the money. And it seems like this is here for a reason and a part of it, I guess, for the gaming and for, for hanging out using the computer. We can sell some uh, vending stuff. So we need to go out and find where we get all that. And I'm still curious how much money we have. Okay, so 407 You pull up. That makes sense. Pull up the wallet and it tells you how much money you have. Are you going to go use the computer? I'm gonna, curious if he's actually going to get down, sit down and use it. Or look at an empty vending machine. Uh, he doesn't want to use it. Wonder what's what it is they don't like. Wonder if it's just the setup of everything. Oh, he's actually okay. So he actually used it. I guess those guys just wanted different stuff. They probably wanted a game or something. But no, he's actually actually using the computer. Nice. So I'm guessing that's where the money shows up. Is they they're you paying for their time on the computer and the money shows up on the table. And we've got a car over here. And when I I looked at when I looked up the uh, settings over here, it tells me. Where is it? Oh, return to drive the car. So it makes me think that this is drivable. And it's a T-Bird, which is cool. Open the car. Oh, the battery's in the... So that's probably... Let's try it. No battery. That makes sense. Take the battery. And we got to put it in the car. This is a T-Bird. So we grab... It is modeled just like a real T-Bird. Let's put this on the ground for a second and see if we need, if that's what we need to do to open the hood. Cause they open backwards. They don't open up here, but let's see, I saw it do something a little bit ago. There we go. And it does open the correct way. It's even got Thunderbird valve covers. Oh, uh, it looks like a Y block. Nice. That would be, that would be correct. And let's place the battery. All right, let's shut this thing. How do you shut it back? Ah, oh, you just reach up there. Nice. Okay. Is there any anything to interact with around our little base here? Or is it a bad time to be doing this because all the stuff is closed? Looks like there's a store over here. Ah, uh, yes, it's open. Hardware store. Okay, this to me looks like a PC store. We've got RAM over here. Nice. Motherboards. We got the headphones. How much are those? $25. That's not bad. 70 and then 120 for like full on gaming. Looks like hard drives. Uh, we've got the uh, typical hard drive and SSDs over here. Very cool. <laughs> Video cards and a car battery. So yeah, it looks like we got everything we need to like upgrade our stuff here. This is awesome. And we've even got core I sevens, core I nine and coolers, fans. This is actually really, really cool. Because I always loved that game, PC sim Build Simulator, whatever it was called. PC Building Simulator. That one was a lot of fun. And then we've got a gaming laptop right here. And an ATM. How do we use, do we use the ATM? Check balance. Zero. So this this must be what, go out. This is, must be what the credit card is for. Let's try deposit. How much money do I have on me? I think it was like 400 and something dollars. So let's throw $200 in here. And then we'll have like 200 and something bucks on hand and 200 bucks in here. Perfect. All right. Diversify ourselves a little bit in case we run into a store that doesn't take card or a store that doesn't want cash. Vice versa. Oh, we even got cases over here. That is so cool. I'm excited to get into this part of it. Explored pretty much all the way down that street, just on foot. Didn't really see much of anything. I'm going to come back and check to see. Do we have any money from these guys hanging out on the computer? And there's, there is, there is money take. Does it tell me how much? 
Doesn't tell me exactly how much, but it shows my balance going up, and that's all I really care about. Uh, I want to be able to find the thing to fill this up because half the guys that come walking in here anyways look at this, and I feel like I'm losing money by not having that stocked. Okay, so let's try the car. We sit down, get in. Oh, yes, we can. Do I shut the door? Shut the door. Closed door, I should say. Start. I gotta... Oh, it starts. Okay, so then I hit enter, I think it said. Yes. Do we have lights? I don't see, I don't see any. All right, let's go exploring. Oh, there are lights down here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. I was, I was thinking there was probably a key binding button or something for lights. L or H for headlights. But no, it was on a little switch down here. There's not a lot to this town. It doesn't look like. And it looks like fuel is a thing. So we're gonna have to be mindful of that and not run out of fuel. Yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything else. So what I'm gonna do is actually park the car and just explore on foot because I don't wanna use up all the gas for no good reason. Let's turn off our lights here uh, and use the car to run the errands that we need the car for. I can, I can walk around just fine and not have to worry about, how do I get out? Not have to worry about, oh yeah, enter. Have to worry about uh, gasoline and, and running out of that. And another thing is when you're exploring from the street, that just looks like that. But then when you actually get closer to it, it that's when you notice it can be interacted with. So might as well just do this on foot. Uh, oh, I was wondering where that was. Okay, press tab. This is all of our, uh, it didn't tell us in the tutorial where this was. But yeah, we have thirst, happiness, hunger, urine. Uh, you can drink in this apparently. That's pretty cool. So we're not really stressed, which is nice. Or I guess that stress tolerance is very low. So wonder how that's going to come into play. This would be where we get our gasoline for our car. Good to know. Now I know where that is. There's a man standing there that totally creeped me out. So I guess we'd have to buy our gas from that guy. Well, I found an alleyway between... Ah, there's something over here. Ah, yes. This would be... Whoa, that glitch... Ah, yes, we can go in. This would be where we can get, at least we can get candy bars and stuff for the vending machine. I wonder if we could put beer in the vending machine. That'd be pretty cool. There's some, there's probably some laws against stuff like that, but we're not here to worry too much about the laws. So we've got a pretty good, decent amount of money. So might as well just grab, well, I should probably go get the car. If I, if I'm thinking, yeah, I should probably go get the car because don't want to have to carry each and everything, but let's just see what it does. And if anything, we can just set it down and go get the car and bring it back. So we're going to want some sh sham. Let's throw that in there. I, lo I love the play on uh, words there. Uh, that, what is this like ramen? Got to have that. Obviously the Sprite, what are they calling it? Sp Sprita? Sprita? We'll take a whole bunch of those because it's cheap, a buck. And all the Snickers. I can't quite tell smackers is what it's on it i love it i love this this is so cool and of course the beer oh so it all stacks up. okay i was wondering how it worked okay it all stacks up here and then we just pay pay and there it goes okay so we can probably just carry this back to the uh to the game area take yeah there we go we're good just out for an evening jog with a whole bunch of junk food I like how it doesn't tell you much of anything. There's nobody in here. I like it how it doesn't tell you much of anything. It just kind of throws you in and uh, lets you start playing. I love that. Let's see if we got money here. Indeed we do. Let's take it. It'd be cool if it told you exactly how much money was sitting there. But again, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Back up to $170 after spending a pretty decent amount over there. I don't know exactly how much we spent. Okay, let's open this thing up and start placing our items in. Let's take that and here. There it goes. Nice. Oh, while I'm thinking about it, these guys that just sit down and then walk back out, probably wanting to play some games. So we put that money in the uh, ATM. Let's see if that will give us money to, okay, login required. It didn't, it's, it didn't say login required before, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Having the money in the bank is how you can download these games. Well, everybody loves Grand Auto 4, so let's, let's uh, oh, I guess we got to log in. Profile. Create an account. We have to create an account and everything. Oh, that's awesome. Create an account. Matacaster. 
obviously create. Okay. So now we are signed in shop and there we go. Now we can buy grand auto four. It's purchased. Do we need to install it now? Is that over here? No. Oh, library install. This is, I mean, I know how to work steam, right? I should know how to do this. That's awesome. Okay. So that's there. Uh, let's shuffle for a couple more games, round it out a little bit. Mine current. Okay. I don't know if uh, many of those guys want to play call of dad. Okay. That's happening just because of the name is perfect library install. And let's just do one more here. Let's go with uh, half Leafa four and install that one. Now let's see if those guys sit down and play for a while. Let's see if he plays. Yep, now he's on it. But it looks like he's serving. I don't know if it's going to simulate a, playing a game. It'd be cool if it did. Let's get back to uh, stocking the uh, vending machine. Oh. What was that? What are you doing over here? I don't know how to make the smackers stand upright. So they're just going to be in there like that. <laughs> okay, it is fully stocked. It's not perfect, but I suppose it's good enough for the girls I go out with. So we can sh shut that and hopefully start making some money. What do we do with this? Do we take it back to the store? I'll take it back to the store later. I'll take it back on my next trip. So we'll just throw that there. And there it is. He's playing grand auto four <laughs> that is so cool take the money all right we can actually operate it ourselves oh that is so cool so we can actually stand and make some good money here because we paid for the just for the spritta spritta we paid a dollar each for those so yeah that's pretty good oh and we got somebody buying something does it actually show what he gets <laughs> he got a beer good man so then I'm curious, does the money just show up in my wallet? Oh, it probably goes to the bank, maybe. No, my wallet, my, my uh, account didn't change there. My cash didn't change. That wouldn't make sense anyways. I wonder if I, yeah, I bet it goes, I bet it goes to the bank. While I'm over here, I was going to get a he set of headphones because it looked like the, they wanted me to for the gaming. Uh, and I will go ahead and pay. There. You can use those if you want, bud. So it appears I am thirsty and I am hungry. And I must need to go urine. Well, I suppose this is a good spot as any. Oh, it's already telling me I'm thirsty, but I don't know how to make urine. Oh, of course, it's the P button. So I'm just going to steal from my own little supply here. I'll take a, a sham. Eat that. And grab a spritta. Let's see what this mop is all about. Take the mop. I do see some. Oh, that's cool. So we're gonna have to be sure to stay on top of cleaning everything. All right, enough of that. I guess I should put it out of the way. There we go. Just noticed my neighbor over here. He's got like floor tiling, all sorts. I don't even, I guess it's like wallpaper or something, wall treatment stuff, couches. Not even gonna bother him, where, asking him where he got this stuff, but obviously it would help out our gaming club quite a bit because this all looks like it. Hey, he's got an outhouse. Surprised there's no DX racers laying around here. Wonder what I do for fun in this game to get the happiness level up because it's uh, seems to be pretty low. Let's check out some Grand Auto 4. Oh, look at this. It's got, it's got benchmark test, 10 frames per second. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to upgrade this PC. I don't know how those guys were playing on 10 frames per second. I wouldn't have been able to tolerate that. I got an idea. Let's take this back to the to the store. I'm thinking, I know there's something in there that could make me a little happier. Here, you can have this back. I don't need it. It's yours. Well, let's grab us some beer. Don't mind me. I'm just going to stand over here and get hammered. Alrighty, let's take that and there we go. That increases happiness. I figured as, as much with uh, my experience with my summer car in Monbazoo. Probably had something to do with that. Let's check our happiness now. It's it's about halfway up. But I know if we keep going with this, probably won't end, end well. You can have this. There you go. 
See if it'll let me use my card to pay. It does, so I can pay with card or cash. That's really cool. I think default is just cash. I'll just drink them right here. All right, happiness is way up. Hunger's a little low. Let's might as well take care of that right now. Grab a couple shams. My hunger is full, so we've just got an extra sham laying around. Let's throw that in the old vending machine. Go ahead and take care of this. There's nobody out. There we go. Another cool thing, uh, aspect of this game is you can sell stuff on eBay or eBay. You just take pictures of some of the hardware and stuff that I get. I guess when we upgrade this PC, we can just sell the thing on eBay. I think that's really cool. You just take pictures of what you have, even the headphones I could put on list on eBay and sell. So that's really, really cool. So you just don't have that stuff laying around. You just sell it. I now wonder if I could have sold those baskets that I was returning. Uh, that's something I wonder about. There's also a whole post office system where you take, you have to take the stuff that you sold on eBay and then ship it off. I believe I have found it. The post office where, yeah, you ship the stuff out that you sold. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so you can get, do I have mail? Looks like I got nothing. But yes, you can send off the stuff that you sold on eBay, eBay, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's a lot to this game. It's very in-depth. And from the sounds of it, it's, it, there's going to be more. They're adding more to it. This is just the dev build right now. These guys have almost cleaned. They definitely cleaned me out of all the beer. There's still some Sprita and some Smackers left. That's so cool. With the games that I've added, it did bring up my local storage. Or it did decrease my local storage. That is very cool. But it looks like we've built this into a nice little self-sustaining business we've got here. It'll be nice to upgrade. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. If you'd like to see a series of my gaming club. I'm digging it. So I'd be more than happy to make a series out of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And if you made it this far, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the videos out. Thanks again as always, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.